crispy fried enoki. It is crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside, and delicious with every bite. If you love enoki, you will want to try this. This recipe is for four servings. The ingredients needed are 400 grams or 4 packets of enoki, 300 ml of ice cold water, 4 tablespoons of my homemade crispy flour to make it even crispier, 4 tablespoons of goki tempura flour, 1 over 8 teaspoon of salt, and oil for deep frying. The full list of ingredients is in the Seymour link. First, prepare the crispy flour batter in a large basin. Add 4 tablespoons of goki tempura flour. 4 tablespoons of homemade crispy flour, all the salt, and all the ice cold water. Mix until the batter is fully combined. We use ice cold water as it helps the batter to become crispier. The crispy batter will be very thin, which is different from what I usually do in other recipes. Alright, it's ready. See, it's very light. Set it aside. Switch on the heat, add enough cooking oil to deep fry the enoki. For me, this is about 1 kilogram. As I want my crispy enoki to be bigger than this, I am adding another 500 grams of oil. This is totally optional. Let the oil heat up. This takes about 10 minutes. While the oil is heating up, prepare the enoki. Cut about 2 inches off the base of the enoki and remove the packaging. Place on a large flat tray. You can cut slightly less as well if preferred. I want to remove all the roots as much as possible without having to clean them individually. Alright, all done. Give them a rinse under running water. Then prepare another large basin and separate the enoki individually. This gives us a lovely texture as it absorbs more of the crispy batter. Alright, all done. See, they are all separate stock now. Avoid washing enoki after separating them as they can absorb too much water. Check on the oil. Oh dear, my halogen cooker has died. How unfortunate. I have moved the oil to an induction pan to cook the crispy enoki over the stove. Test the oil. If bubbles form up, it is ready for deep frying. Place a handful of enoki into another basin. Pour the crispy batter generously over the enoki. Give it a light toss to evenly coat them. Then carefully spread them all around the frying pan. It's alright if some of them overlap. Push down any enoki stuck to the side of the pan. After about 4 minutes, the enoki at the bottom is browning. Flip the crispy enoki and let it fry for another 3 more minutes or until golden brown on both sides. Alright, after 3 minutes, the crispy enoki is done. It's a beautiful golden brown now. Carefully remove the enoki and place on a cooling rack. Repeat with the rest of the enoki. Add another handful to the basin. Pour some crispy batter over it. Mix it lightly and spread it around the hot oil. Flip it after about 4 minutes to cook on the side for another 3 minutes. Remove from the pan and rest it on a cooling rack. Dish the crispy enoki mushroom out and serve with some sour spicy chicken chili sauce. As it's quite large and stuck together, I am using kitchen sear to cut it into bite-sized pieces. Let's eat! Very crispy and chewy. It's so tasty and very delicious. Try with a little bit of chili sauce. Yummy! The sourness and slight spiciness go so well with the crispy enoki. Perfect for an appetizer. So crispy. Thank you for watching. 
Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye!